Oh, and uh, also the uh, Pound Cake Sports Break for you uh, tomorrow. We do that, of course, weekly on Wednesdays during the 5 o'clock hour. Always um, plenty of things to choose from when it comes to Pound Cake, giving you the lowdown, the stuff you won't hear on things like sports radio or sports center or uh, sports news jabbering one of those other shows sports yelling sports yelling (laughs) you won't hear anything quite like the pound cake sports break hey dick hey how are you i was walking down the hall this morning yeah talking to charlie and he was holding he's holding it from rover's show and he was holding uh, an envelope in his hand and it just was covered in scrawl and he goes is this for you i said no it's i said well no way to know i said that's from dick from dayton and i said and it's it's a he'll send cards uh, sometimes uh, to us sometimes to you guys i said they're completely illegible so it's hard to tell uh who's for who but uh, uh he mentioned that uh, you call them every morning dick yeah i yeah i haven't called this week i've been so busy with um i've been busy with the. Uh, the Scrummers. band and stuff, you know, yeah. we have a lot of stuff coming up. It's kind of kind of neat. And I wanted to tell you, um, over here at uh, Sinclair College, it's downtown, close to where Mary's going to, the Wiley's Club, they called me the day they got a class for me from May, I think it's uh, May 10th to July. It's called uh, uh, Appreciation of Music, and what you do is... Uh, you learn, you know, you learn the various types like classical, bluegrass, and uh, what they do is each other week you bring an instrument in, and if you do good, you can join the band. That's kind of neat, you know? Now, will you be rushing a fraternity at Sinclair College? No, it's oh. uh, just a branch of Sinclair downtown. Nobody wants to go down there. There's nothing down there anymore. You know, they moved the uh, Heart Radio. Yeah, I don't know where it even is. Now, you know, uh, they they moved it, but uh, this class should be interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of neat. Oh, another thing, too, I I got my lucky. Sue called me today, and she said there's, uh, of course, as you know, your mother has a birthday the same day as I do. That's correct. And they're going to have the ukuleles play a couple songs for birthdays. So, yeah, I've, I'm enjoying retirement, Alan and Bill, and. Mary, I love it, you know? Well, I'll tell you what. It sounds like you're staying busy, and that always seems to be the most important thing about retirement, Dick, is you know everybody looks forward to it, and then that first couple of days they go, well, now what the hell am I going to do? And you sound like you're you're keeping your calendar nice and full. Yeah, and you know, you learn different techniques. You know, I'm I'm used to the Ohio River music, and then uh, you could learn bluegrass, and I've learned a lot from, uh, you know, they did a little bit of... uh, Crosby, uh, this one guy in the jam, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and uh, uh, and Young. Oh, we, hey, we played something the other day that nobody knew. I don't know who made it. I think you play. Wait, wait, wait. You played a song that no one knew. Was that a crowd pleaser? Well, I mean, not for you know bluegrass or the other. I think Eric Clapton played it, but it was pretty good. What was the song? Cocaine. You played coke. Yeah, that's originally a J.J. Kale song that Clapton covered. Yeah, you guys played cocaine. Yeah. On the banjo. That was pretty good. No. Was it all sped up like you were on cocaine? No, no. But oh. this guy that uh, he, he did, I love Crosby, Still, uh, Teach Your Children. That's a pretty song. You remember that one? I do. Che- teach Your Children. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you, <coughs> excuse me, you did that. And then you did cocaine. Yeah. Teach your children into cocaine. And then this other one, hmm. I don't know who made this, but I, I sang it with uh, one of the guys that uh, plays in the jam down at Springfield. It was called Karina. You remember Karina Karina? The Whoopi Goldberg movie? No, it was uh, <laughs> I Love Karina. way I do. Well, it's, uh, it's a real pretty song. The old Ray Peterson I song. Do. Ray Peterson, yeah, yeah, that's a good song. All right. Kareem Kareem. Oh. Yeah. Is Mary around? I want I'm to right here. Her. I'm yeah, right she's right here, Dick. Mary. She's excited to talk to you. Hi. Mary. Yes. 
I can't wait till the 20th or 21st. It's going to be great. It's going to be the best day of my life, man. Oh, <laughs> the dang. best day. I'm going to really do it. I'm wow. going to, I, I might even put the mandolin in the car. Oh, my goodness. You serenade me. I can't wait, Mary. I Dick, will wait. you be Will you be bringing your girlfriend? No, no. Why? I was going to bring a friend of mine, one to come. Uh, his name is Dave from Dayton, but... I told him he stopped by last night. Now, you can't bring a dog down there because you'll get kicked out. Yeah, most comedy yeah. clubs yeah. frown on live animals walking around, even in Dayton. Yeah, he uh, he's quite a, uh, he gets me, uh, oh, what is it, CDs mm-hmm. from, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, the past. I knew the history of uh, <laughs> Stanley, uh, was it Ralph Stanley and, uh, oh, I can't think of the other guy, Earl Scruggs. Yeah, sure. Yep. But, what what happened to your girlfriend, oh, uh, Dick? She's still here. She but, can't go too much anymore. Her oh, she can't. Really okay, so you no, can't. You, she's she got, she's not going to be your plus one. No, I. You know, we we have to keep up on the bills. You know, boy, I'm. Uh, she no, work. retired. She's got to work because she's retired. Want the collectors to come down. You oh, know? I see. She's got to work. Yeah, I yep. see. Now, but guess th- what? Now you put this on your calendar. I'll have to call you that day. But I got a birthday, April fourteenth. Okay. Same day as your mom. That's not my mom's birthday. Oh, it didn't. No, you guys were born in the same year, not the same day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mom's birthday is in November, but nineteen forty-eight is the year of her birth. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, it'll be. Mary, uh, I'm, I'm. I'm looking forward to those days. Okay. I am too. I can't wait to see you. Yeah. 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 All right. Th- okay. Thank you, Dick. Licky, 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 boom, boom, down. Licky, 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 boom, boom, down. I wonder if we'll ever get a call from Dave from Dayton. Yo, best day of his life. Best day. That's a probably a pretty low bar. Hey. Nevertheless. 25 years of lows. Nev- See an old mare live. <laughs> You're making my point for me. Nevertheless. Dick uh, is not going to like my set. It should be very <laughs> exciting. I, I think just that- don't think women are funny. That's all. <laughs> right. I think that's why he wanted to bring mm-hmm. the dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he could uh, sick the dog on you. It's going to be you know? great. Yep. God, what if Dick's the only person who shows up? <laughs> What if I sell no tickets? That seems unlikely. Seems unlikely. He'd be like, well, yeah, Mary, give me a show. And then- <laughs> I brought the whole Kettering Banjo Society. Oh, my God. The he whole room is... 43 yeah. old men. <laughs> he bought the room. I would love it. I would love it. Alan, he's retired. She's 10 years older than he is, and she's still working. <laughs> the hell is that? There's something going on there. I think the girlfriend's made up. We don't. We don't. He doesn't ever take her anywhere. He doesn't ever talk about her. She's old. I mean, he's trying to be respectful. Yeah, but his elderly girlfriend. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Alan and guys. What's up, Mary? Hi. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, um, I just wanted to talk about um what you guys were talking about a little bit ago about um the if somebody is uh felon. Felons voting. Yeah. Yeah. I like petitions for a living and have for quite a few years. So um, in, in Ohio, yes, if somebody is uh, convicted of a felony, of course, right away they're taken off the voting rolls. But um, once they've served their time, they they can, um, they have to re-register. I can, you know, register them to vote. And the state of Ohio does not take away their right to vote for life. Now, in Florida, but, I believe they do, unless well, they've changed I, that. Yeah, I think recently, within the last year or so, I think that they did reinstitute. But but it, was, yeah. it wasn't it was without a fight, because I think there's this notion that because, um, I, I think especially states that have Republican legislatures, they don't want felons voting, because they assume uh, that, the, uh, that the felon community is largely people of color. And so they've worked overtime to make sure that those people can't. But there's no constitutional reason for them to be barred from voting if they've served their time. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool. Thank you, Colleen. All right. Thank All you. All right. There's Colleen. Was she working the voting rights biz? Is that what she said? Something she like that. She gets people registered to vote? She's just one of those people with a clipboard at Edgewater and walk around like, are you registered to vote? <laughs> hey, get Maybe. them registered to vote. Why don't they have motor voter here? 
What is that? You get your license and you're automatically registered to vote. Oh, that's cool. That's how we did in Illinois. Well, Ohio. Do you know what I was thinking about today? Work that well. What were you thinking about today? I and I. This may be something that a comedian has said in the past. It's not an original thought, but what we really should. Uh, <laughs> You should have to take a driver's test more than once. <laughs> Some people do. They don't. You get your driver's license and then you just renew it every mm-hmm. year and you never have to be tested well, no, again. Well, old people have to take... There are some, when? No. Huh? There was a probably, no joke, this tiny... Had to be in her 90s, 90-year-old woman in the car today. I was in pulling into a parking lot. There was a cop parked. So Okay, so imagine it. Two rows of cars, right? Parked. On one row of cars was a parked... Cop car, all right? So he's blocking the way. So now there's only really one way to go down this row. I am pulling around the corner. So now it's parked cars, parked cop car, me coming around the corner, and then more parked cars. So there's nowhere to go. This old woman pulls out of her parking spot and then comes at both me and the cop car. The parked cop car and me coming around the corner. And I was like, where are you going to go, lady? Why didn't you pull out and go the other way? What are the circumstances... That require you to take an eye test. I don't think you, you have to. No, you I've, ta- I've taken them as an adult. The eye test at is the, when at the you DMV. renew. I've taken the eye test. You what? Too. The eye test happens when you renew. I don't so, know. I have to renew so, mine this year. So That's if an old I'm... person fails their eye test, they're not going to renew their license, is but my if, point. But if their eyes are fine and their body doesn't work, they never have to take a driving test again. They don't ever test your turn signals if you're driving safely. Oh, I see safely. what you mean. Like rules it, of the road type they stuff. They never yeah. test that ever again. Sure, you have to be able to see. Yeah. But if your eyesight's perfect and you pull some BS like this lady did. I didn't know that. I guess yeah. I never thought about it. So there's no there's no circumstance. Classes, yeah. There's no circumstance under which you need like a refresher course. No, or, really? never. Hmm. And it aggravated me because I'm like, and again, I do stupid things. I'm not, I will admit I'm not the best driver, but it's like for you to take one driver's test when you're 16 and then you never have to take another one again. That seems crazy to me. And by the way, you just have to pass the driver's test. Right. You don't have to pass with flying colors. Yeah. C plus. Yeah. But I was just so frustrated with this lady because then she's looking at me like, back up, get out of my way. I'm like, bro, you could have turned and there would be no problem here. But Why'd you call her bro? Because she's backing up traffic and Call an old crone. You hold the crone? Yeah. Her windows were up. Well, wasn't it the cop's fault for blocking being parked? Yeah, but there's nothing we can do. He's a cop. I'm just saying. It would have been very it. easy for her to not turn into a row of parked cars, and How she chose she not to. How would she have known? You could see that it was there's no way to get out? <gasps> yes. It was my car, two rows of par- parked cars, a parked cop car, and then me coming around the corner, and she still chose to come at us. Instead of going the other way. Here's another thing that may have been said by a comedian. How come you park on a driveway? Oh, God. <laughs> drive on a parkway. Oh. I didn't want to be accused of stealing someone's material because I think that's been out there. Before. Yeah, I've heard. We talk about renewing your driver's tests or whatever, but I was just very upset with her. And that's, I walked in, I was like, old people should have to take a new, you should have to take it at like, so you get it at 16. And then 30, and then 50, and then every five years after that. Yeah. 55, 60, 65, 70. No, you shouldn't have to take it again until you're... They should assign you to take it again. What do you like, mean? Like, if you have moving violations because you're so bad at driving because you're so old, that's when you should have to take it again. I'm not... I don't want to take one when I'm 30, when I'm fine. I don't... Yeah, but you're going to kill it. So who cares? Yeah, so what's the difference? It's a one it still Saturday. Takes time. It's one Saturday afternoon. It's you like got an 15 hour. minutes. Yeah, yeah, an hour. I, yeah, I would happily then, do But then it. everybody has to do it. And then that would it's take already... all the terrible drivers off the road. Oh, but it wouldn't. But it would. They wouldn't get renewed if they can't pass their crap. They pass it. <laughs> they'd pass <laughs> they'd, it. Uh, and I, and they'd I'm pass you, it. But the older but the people are getting tested, the less they'd be passing going it. Going to the DMV is already an aggravating situation. So you... You have to go this there. This isn't a more DMV. Often. This is a testing uh, well, well, testing station. When's the last time you went to one of those? Because I've been to them. It's worse. It's not. <laughs> what? If you can say it's worse, I can say it's not. <laughs> I'm there. I, I've taken kids to get their license in the past few years. Yeah. Not not fun. Well, a lot I'm, of waiting around. Yeah, a lot there's of a lot of waiting around no matter what you're doing. 
But my point is, but if I don't take, have to take it, it would take these awful people off the road. Everyone you're flicking off and getting mad at because they don't know how to merge or they're that going sounds, 19 sounds, miles per sounds hour. Sounds like you have some anger issues when it comes to driving. I get frustrated when people don't know how to do it. And by the way, as that. a as a newly re-registered Berea resident, you're going to be awash in old drivers. I understand so, that. Why yeah. you think I'm so aggravated? Yeah. People going friggin' 11 miles per hour, turning a corner at one. And the get out of here. and the retesting is a good idea if the system worked as intended. There's no way that a driving instructor is going to want to deal with grown ass people yeah. bitching about taking a test again. Well, they mm-hmm. have to. I'm sorry. In a state. With no permit open carry. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so you're saying this would be uh, a risk <laughs> for the person who's doing the driving I'm just instructor? Saying it, would, it would be something so aggravating to have to do if you know you can pass the test. But I don't think these people do. The real question is why do you live in apartments but shop in departments? <laughs> I've never gotten a sufficient answer to that question. So, uh, hey, Carlos in Miami, what's going on? Hey, hello, everybody. How are you? Listen, uh, all right, all right. Down here, um, they allowed felons to vote, and then somebody said, "Wait a minute!" While they were in jail, they had fines, and now they're going after the people that until they pay all the fines while they were in jail, they can't vote. Oh, is that and what it is? Back, you know, yeah. Yeah, so the Republicans kind of found a loophole, which is ironic because somebody in central Florida was in jail and was running for a seat in the government, and they had no problem with that guy. Right. Sure. Yeah. Rules for thee, like not for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, as long as you're keeping yeah. your nose clean, Carlos, I'm not worried. Yeah. Hey, you want to talk about old people driving? Everybody Florida, oh, God. another country <laughs> where they got no uh, roads, no signs. Um, I mean, I drive ten miles home and it takes me an hour. Right. Holy cow. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, keep it between the ditches, Carlos. Huh? I said keep it between the ditches. Yeah, I do. All right, All right mm-hmm. thanks, pal. Bye. All right, there's Carlos who's down in Miami. Trying to get home safely on his one-hour, ten-mile ride. Were you hungry when you... I was on my way to breakfast, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you were, already, uh, you were already in a bad mood. That's annoying, though. Life is, full, life is nothing but annoyances. I get that. Life is all waiting around, killing time, and it. nonstop annoyances. I'm usually pretty good with it, but I just feel like there could be uh, a system in place to prevent these people from being on the road. Hmm. And honestly, by this system, I probably wouldn't have a license. I've had a lot of violations. I had tw- uh, well, they have that in eleven place points at one point. Where you, and then didn't you have to take the class? I had to take a remedial yeah. class to get two points knocked off. Drive downtown on a Saturday morning, drunk. Why do you think I'm in a parallel park? I got eleven <laughs> points on my license. Alan, I'm with Mary. I work nine one one in Medina, and all the old people crashes to come in. That's it. <laughs> Listen, I'm for it, but Maybe not... Maybe at 70 you have to retest or something. <laughs> I, I think, I don't yes, know. When, when you're up there. I'd say 65 plus or something like that. 70, around there, but not 30 and 35 or 40, whatever no, you're I said, saying. No, I said at 16, at 30, at 50, and then every five years after I 50. I say just make it 65 plus. If you can qualify for AARP, you have to <laughs> retest. Oh, no, they're knocking those back. You start getting those at about... Th- you're going to start getting those in yeah. now. Alan, an 87-year-old woman turned left in front of my dad. He was on a motorcycle, sent him flying over her car. Her excuse was he only had one headlight, so she didn't know it was a vehicle. It was her eighth accident in two years, and when she went to get her car from the tow company, she wrecked her rental car by (laughs) running over all the mailboxes at the tow yard. (laughs) These are the people who... And she's still driving. Right! They're just driving down the wrong side of the highway. Yeah. Well, they're putting alert systems on, I just saw this, on a lot of the highways in Ohio now, they're going to put uh, alert systems where if it you enter the highway going the wrong direction, it will like flash and like alert authorities like immediately so they can stop things from happening. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, uh, we've got it all figured out. So I'm going to take a break, and if you want to get the last word in, uh, shoot me a text, 35192, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everybody.